Okay, so Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles. Being aware of what you have. Being aware of your power. Being aware of your ability to be grounded in the laws of the universe. The, the, if I do this, if I put the work in here, it doesn't matter how long it takes, I'm investing in my payout, in my return. If I continuously show up, it doesn't matter if I'm not charging forward and it doesn't look like to the entire outer world that I'm pushing us forward. If I'm grounded in what I believe, if I'm grounded in what I am learning about myself, if I am aligning myself to that truth while at the same time not getting trapped in the rigidness, that's not a word, the rigidity, <laughs> the the rigid thinking about how that has to look, right? So in the Knight of Pentacles, there's definitely, I've taken action, but this horse that he's riding is black. It's grounded. It's also not moving. Is it stagnant? No, because he's he's gilded up. He's got all of his armor on. He's out in the battlefield. It's almost as if he's there before everyone else is there. So he's prepared. He's early. He's done the work. So that's why he's not moving. He's done the work already. Now he's putting his hand out in that kind of open, again, that it's kind of a receptive quality that we're being, a lot of us are being invited to here. There's a lot of five energy in these cups that are coming up. You know, him holding his hand out like this. When I first path worked this card, I saw like, you know, the knight. He wasn't holding the coin. He's just walking up on his horse really calmly, chill. Once he gets closer to me, like I can see that he's holding this smirk on his face, which you probably can't see here. No, there he is. He's got like this furrowed brow, but kind of a smirky smile, which to me indicates confidence. You know? Maybe it borderlines over into cockiness with the with the the facial expression. It really depends on your experience. But I do get a sense of co uh, confidence. You know, it's a knowing of what is about to happen. And the way I saw this unfold for me was that he, the the horse marches up very slowly, very calmly. He's just like got this look on his face the whole time. The horse stops in the middle of the area, and he just puts his hand out, and he just holds that smirk. And over time. The coin materializes in his hand. It's not like it happens quickly. It's not like it happens fast. You know, there takes a sense of being willing to wait and being willing to be grounded. This is what visionary Aquarius energy needs most of all at this time. It's like you have the brilliance of your mind. You have the ability to continue pushing forward what could be possible. But if you relinquish the ability to ground yourself in what it means to be human, because, you know, Uranus's influence on Aquarius has, you know, Aquarians feeling very other, very like alien. That's a totally archetypal experience to, to hold on to. And sometimes the hermit can even instigate like the, the I'm very alone. There's no one else on my path. This mystic life is just for me or my version of mysticism is only mine and it's very alien and foreign to everyone else. So there's a sense of trueness to how that is, that is experienced for you, but the way you need to counteract that at this time is to ground yourself. Ground yourself in the awareness that you are indeed, you know, meant to be a more alien version of humanity, but you're human nonetheless, you know. That Leo Aquarius polarity is really asking you to hold on to the fact that it's like, yes, you are this crazy outside of the norm individual, but you're also here to serve the collective. You're here to serve a greater purpose, our society at large. And you can't do that unless you have some sort of grounding, you know, unless you're rooted in the earth, unless you have understanding for other humans. So a part of discovering your own light is to, to ask yourself how my uniqueness is relatable to other people. So for you, it's to, to focus less on my uniqueness and more on how do I utilize my uniqueness? How do I utilize my uniqueness to shed more light on the overall human experience? That is where I think Aquarians will find they are most helpful and collaborative when they can actually see that their, their, their way of looking at things 
only when rigid starts ostracizing them from others. You know, that's the only thing that's going to make them not, like, actually adaptable enough to fit in and truly collaborate um, is being too rigid in their thinking. So we need to recognize that by us being the change, by showing up confidently, rooted, not being totally, you know, not just being idealistic, but, but thinking about what works in the physical as well and, and showing up integrating that instead of just talking about it because i'm sorry air signs you guys have a tendency to really just talk a lot of talk and and do stuff that's self-serving instead of really showing up in honor of how you speak so ground yourself in that reality and recognize that you know the abundance you truly seek the new world you truly want to create that is going to take you being you confidently showing up who you are but also grounded expecting a new world to follow you being a new bitch. That's a valuable, valuable key. Recognizing you have influence on the world. You know, this card's background is yellow. It's very much about that conscious awareness of our role in sustaining things, our role in working to see things through to the end. It's not just about, oh, I, you know thought a thought, felt a feel, took an action, and now I get the result. No, pentacles are about the sustained work that brings through the result, you know? It's not just that initial spark that happens in the wands. It's not the first mover energetic. It really is that long-term sustained action that we end up seeing in the pentacles over and over.